Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to install a Game Boy Advance emulator on your PlayStation 2. So the first thing you want to do is just connect your PlayStation 2's USB drive to your PC. Alright guys, so once you're on your PC, I will leave two links in the description. The first link right here in the description is just the emulator itself. So there's actually two emulators in this pack. There is REGBA and TempGBA. Personally, I prefer TempGBA, but it's up to you guys since this comes with two emulators. So scroll down until you get to the download section. From here, you can choose um, NTSC, which is American, or PAL, um, which is Europe. So I live in Europe, so I'm going to go ahead and download the PAL version. So once you've downloaded the emulator, the next thing you want to do is choose some games. So I'll leave this link in the description as well. It'll just bring you to ROM Hustler. Um, it's on the Game Boy Advance section, but basically you can just choose any games you want and you can get as many as you want. So once you've downloaded everything, head over to your downloads folder. Here are all of the ROMs that I got and here is my emulator. So the first thing you want to do is just extract the emulator. So what you want to do is just go on the emulator and you right click extract here. Then you just want to um, get your ROMs, make sure they're inside a ROMs folder and then drag this inside the file. And then drag that inside GBA. And then it should just look something like this. So once you've got um, this kind of layout, all you want to do is drag GBA the file folder onto your PlayStation 2's USB drive. So mine's already got the newbie package on here. It doesn't matter, I can just leave that on there. It's quite useful to keep it anyway. So I'm just gonna wait for this to copy across and I'll see you guys on my PS2 when it's done. Okay guys, so on your PlayStation 2, all you want to do is just scroll down to you launch ELF and then just press X on it. From here you just want to press circle for file browser. Then scroll down to mass and press circle on that. Then scroll down to GBA and just press circle to open the folder. Then here are the two emulators, so you guys can choose whichever one you want. I'm just going to press circle on temp GBA.elf. It's then just going to launch the emulator like this. From here you just want to select your ROM, so press X on mass, then press X on GBA, press X on ROM, and here are all of the ROMs. So choose whichever one you want to, um, obviously you guys can download, I'm just going to choose Ed, Ed and Eddie. So just press X to launch it. Once everything is done, the game is just going to load up as normal. Obviously it's going to be pixelated because it is a Game Boy Advance game and this is a very big screen for the Game Boy Advance. But the games actually run really nice on Temp GBA. I was playing a bit of uh, Mario Kart and it was running really nice so that's always good. It has full sound and um, support and everything like that. So let's just go ahead and test this game quickly because this game's kind of a joke but it's, maybe it's good, I don't know. So as you can see, running full speed actually runs really nicely. Um, and yeah, this is pretty much Ed, Ed and Eddie version of um, Mario Bros. So if you guys would like to save the game, um, right now I'm not actually at a part where I can save, but all you have to do is just press um, L2. So if I press it, yeah, I see error because I haven't actually done anything. But that is how you save the game um, for like Pokemon and stuff like that. All right guys, so that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.